Welcome to the Solid Game University channel. This video's topic is stock definition using configurations. So this part that we're looking at right now is uh, basically just a water jet cut part with some pockets in it. And rather than going in there and creating a 3D model to represent the water jet cut part, uh, I'm just gonna use a configuration. So if we go to the configuration manager, we'll see that we have a representation of the final piece with the pockets and we have a representation without the pockets that I've labeled stock. So this will represent our water jet part, and this will represent our final piece, the one we're gonna to use to machine the pockets. Now, when we go into our definitions, um, first thing we wanna do, if we wanna use a configuration, we'll go to our settings and set it so that the synchronization settings are set to check synchronization on user demand and keep geometry associated with parent configuration. So no matter what I do in terms of configurations, it'll always be tied into the one that I originally clicked on. So let's go to our stock, and we'll use a 3D model option. And anytime you see a 3D model option, you'll always have the ability to select between the configurations. In this case, we'll switch it to stock, and I'll select that as my 3D model stock. Now we'll go to target, and again, target is by default a 3D model selection. So it has the configurations already ready to go there. I'll choose my final part, click on that, and that represents my target. So now going forward, if I wanna program this, my target is that piece. You can see it has the pockets in there. And my stock doesn't have the pockets. And it will remain so as I go forward. So I have no need to to worry about switching this back. Final part, we'll save that change. And if I look at my stock, it's still the original water jet cut part. So configurations allow you to basically go back to the original design model and suppress any features that would turn this into a, um, a stock model. So essentially, the two cut pockets, those were suppressed. If I just take a look at that in terms of the configurations. If we look at the configuration of that particular feature, this is actually where you can suppress the features to make your stock solid. So you'll notice that in the final part, it is not suppressed. But that particular pocket in the stock solid is suppressed. So that's how you create this particular type of configuration. You just suppress the features that are the ones that are intended to be machined. And then when you come back to SolidCam, you select them in terms of the 3D model option and then the configuration of the model you'd like to use. Any questions on this or anything else from SolidCam, you can always call us at 1-866-975-1115, extension 2. You can send us your parts or your questions via the ticket system at SolidCamSupport.com or stay tuned for the rest of the videos on the YouTube channel. Thanks for watching.